thank you very much for tuning in to this class. My name is Precious Anikachi, aka Dr. Paul from Paul International. And we are so excited to have you to tune in again from the very last time we saw, actually you saw my screen, we were actually thinking and um, developing a lot of thoughts about forms and the rest of them. I would want to continue. There's another dramatic kind of font or a lot of dramatic forms you must have seen in movies that look scratchy, that look so dramatic, we're going to be looking at right now. So let's go back to the fonts. We're going to explore fonts till there is nothing else to explore. So go back to the fonts and we're going to check um, something like this something like um, this we're gonna go to the graffiti fonts the graffiti all right to see what we have right in okay these are the fonts that look quite dramatic and you see them in some uh, rugged concerts street concerts and the rest of them album ads this is where you can get a chunk and a whole lot of them you can explore as much as you can but i advise you make use of the ones that are a little bit readable so no matter how awesome your design might look if your fonts will find it difficult to read what is written i'm so sorry um you just um, made a very big mistake all right but there's no mistake just that you have to take again so these are they and let's see the way you can as well um you can download the fonts from here some dramatic fonts very dramatic ones okay all right this is messy whatever what's this let's download it okay Boom. and i open it and i install it there are two here i want to install all of them there's not a the difference okay this is them so let's change the color of this so that it will look like what we want to talk about already <clears throat> let's check this and make it maybe let's use some kind of yellow so that it will be very much attractive and some kind of orange around here so I want to change this, I want it to be radial, so I can just be at the center right now. So if your own is not showing sure like that, try and then tweak this. Okay, so right here, I'm going to write streets. Okay, streets, and I'm going to find that font, mess something mass something is it what's the mother phone again mass share stuff so look at it let's use clean oh beautiful oh this is nice so let's turn it to maybe red let's change the color of the text to maybe red or black i think Black will make a lot of sense. Yeah, black is cool. I love black. The color black. So I can combine this font with Sun. Um, I have learned how to to combine. Okay, I've learned how to combine. So. I can come out with any sound form that I have. Still working with my keep calm. I love keep calm. Everything you have to keep calm. You don't rush it. Okay. For, forgive my typos. I have learned how to. So I put it all in capital letter. And I do this. Boom. Alright, so. I can make use of it. Look at how beautiful it looks. I've learned how to combine. 
all right this is awesome so let let me turn this to black and make this maybe red let me turn my gradients to black and maybe make it everything black and we add some red to it well let it just be black like that so i want to change the color to some red some red whoa this is crazy and maybe change this one to some white Oh, it's also nice, but this is not what I intended to do. Okay, change on to also white. And maybe increase the canning, the spaces between the letters. So, can have it more readable and sweet. So, look at how this looks. It's another way to combine that kind of font you have there. Those dramatic fonts and the rest of them. Let's go back and explore more on these fonts um there is this font i saw back in the days movie movie fonts fonts classified on the movie yeah i think it's um horror or look at this oh there are a whole lot of fonts you can but just know that whatever fonts you're combining make sure you have your sans serif fonts all together intact all right make sure you do that all right before we round up this class i want you to take your time and do some font combinations just watch the video look at how i created gradients it's very simple try it out and let's see what you have thank you so much for joining this class the next class we're going to be showing you how you can make a very simple design quick simple design for you then i'm going to speak more about fonts and a few things we've learned. Thank you for joining this class. Welcome back. So I'm attaching this. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm on Pinterest and I'm just moving around, browsing around, trying to see some beautiful things we are gonna use for our design. Whew. This is so nice. This is awesome. Don't you think so? It's nice and awesome. Wow. All right. Now we're going to learn how to make simple flyers like this. It looks complicated, but it's quite simple. We're going to make use of what we have. If you don't have any of these, you're going to make the use of the ones you have. I'm going to show you how to create the background. Just very simple and quick. And um, what else can you do? Yeah. Some time ago, I talked about how you can use people's concept, or have I not talked about it? How you can use people's concepts and develop your own concept. But let's try doing this and applying those um, a, the, the fonts because I selected this. I will attach the link so that you can look at it. If you want, you can download the image, but I'm going to make use of it on the, on, on the internet. So we're going to try and make something that looks like this with the thing we have available all right we can see the burger i've downloaded the burger the sweet burger we are going to make use of <coughs> um the background uh, we're going to sh i'm going to show you how you can get a background that will make yours look like this i'm um, actually they have brushes though but we'll find a way on what provide don't worry so First of all, we're going to create a new layer, create new layer, and um, create new file. And we're going to do this, put it 5, put it 7, and there we go. Um, our flyer is ready. First thing we're going to do is to create a gradient, and it's very easy to create a gradient of that color. So we you can download the picture get it and pick the colors around but let me do this well let me download it for you and show you how you do it so i've saved the image i've saved the image i've saved the image so save it bum, 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 bum. okay i 
can assess my image already. Go to download files, downloads. Okay, I think this is our image. So we're gonna pick a few things just to learn how we can combine fonts. But the purpose of this class is just to learn how we can combine fonts because it seems that it's everything, fonts and colors. <coughs> it seems like it's everything. Okay, so look at it here. So I can just remove it and keep it aside. So let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Okay, so um, let's go back to our gradient file we did and I'm going to use this, click on this handle, double click on it, I'll pick the color at the outer part, which I just did, which is under, and I'll select this, I'll find a way and come to the middle and, you know, pick the color at the middle, but it seems it's going to look somehow. All right, let's do it this way. Let's pick this color right here. And I want this to be darker, so I need some more dark areas. Yep, so awesome. So I like it this way. Um, I want the stuff to be at the center. So, boom, this is where we are. So, we get immediately, we'll get our what do we get? Our burger. I downloaded the burger and I gave you the link. Or better still, I will attach it for you. You download the burger. We downloaded another burger, not this particular burger. So this is the burger. And if you look very well, we are going to see that the burger these people have on their design is actually sitting on a table. Okay, I'm going to show you. Let's get a maybe a wooden table online. Let's just download a table online. Okay, let's download wood, wood, wood texture. All right, so let's just get wood texture. Type wood texture, something like this is going to come out. So I want this and once it's downloading i'll just save from here if you don't want to go to the site you can save from here um although i can't guarantee you of maximum quality but allow it to load the quality is good to go so i've got it i'm gonna put it so now what can i do with this i have to make it look as though it's um in a perspective so let me um, Ctrl T again and maybe put it in perspective perspective mode so I can drag it out you see I'm dragging it out some things are happening some things are shaking so when I do this the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick um, I'm going to pick my tool here then I'm going to do I'm going to pick um, my brush tool and I'm going to go to mask, mask, click on the mask, it's mask, it turns this. So we're going to paint over it with black. Now there's something about mask, I'm going to show you a detail about masking and what you need to know, um, the simple things you need to know about masking. Let's do this. So let's go back to this place and we'll brush over, uh, brush it a little bit hard so let's make it soft soft brush just increase your your stuff a little increase your brush a little and just brush around just do it just do it with love and with thanksgiving okay so just brush it around so you see okay so it looks as if it's blended oh, awesome we put a blend mode maybe multiply or overlay yep 
overlay so just put it in overlay and maybe we might as well want to add some shadows under this so we we'll just create get the same brush just your default brush you have a default brush pick a brush a default brush and um, create a new layer select black okay and um, increase your opacity and hit it so once you're done hitting it you can select it you know and use your um, your mouse and move this if you are using cc creative cloud photoshop creative cloud 2000 and um, so we can add shadow 2019 you can do it by holding down shift but we are using a an older version so we can just do this because the light is coming from the back so we just added a little shadow to it right now right now so the next thing i want us to do is just to round up this design which we've been able to create an amazing stuff right here it, we're gonna put um, whichever country you are in we're gonna make this circle okay i'm gonna make the circle happen and boom um we've created the circle and um we're gonna go to effects panel and gradient i'm gonna make it red and uh, the circle has some bulge though and i'm going to select this and make it some bulge around it red i'll pick this and make it red okay so i can as well pick colors well i could do this so you can you see you, you, you too can you too can you too can so what about the white stuff inside so let's duplicate the circle ctrl j and let's try and do this you know remove the center um you know put the stroke put our stroke you know increase it maybe to four um it's on white already so let's control t and bring it inside so i can't actually see anything because the effect is on so let's turn it up so that we can see our design properly so i'm going to still work on i think it's a little bit too much the 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 outline then we are good to go for the brush this is a brush i'm going to be giving a free brush you can just download you don't need to go through all the stress but not in this video all right so i'm going to show you how you can you know use the brush um, download the brush and make use of it yourself so anticipate it in the next videos where i'm going to be talking about colors and brushes so this is it um then i think we will make use of one font in all this so depending on the country you are in we're going to be using only text two we are going to type only five hundred k whatever five hundred k is to you <laughs> b bass all right you see where the fonts are coming to play and i'm going to make my canon zero so that it doesn't affect a whole lot of things so i'll put it white okay i have to sp split the font so the text so i'll make one big and make the other small so let's do this already all right mm -hmm. 
only 500k like i said whatever 500k means to you so let's write your name and the burger you produce so let's write precious right and uh, duplicate this by hitting ctrl j and bring it down and let's write burger so we're going to be making use of a font called coco goose coco goose all right coco goose regular uh, we're going to make use of it so i'm going to make it put it big it's already in big so i'm going to work on my canning maybe reduce it together let it all lap together like that so i'm going to expand it that's the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to increase the size here and there so out of the pressures burger out of the burger ah, the, the burger i don't want to sell anything you know all right it has selected finally um i can combine these two fonts okay i can combine these two fonts then i can hit on burger and make it coco goose as well so coco goose and i can ctrl t increase the size like this just like this so the next thing i'm going to do is to you know make it so that it's gonna be look more bold and bigger you reduce the canning and the rest of them the next thing we are going to do after this is eh, we have to reduce it so that it look a little bit like this all right so we got to put what color again we have to make this yellow and you know once we make this yellow or orange whatever color it is we might lose the design are you seeing that okay so i'll show you how you can deal with these issues like this so i will select the two i'll select the two and hit on this okay to make it slant and i will hit select it again and hold down control to take it up just a little bit and I'll hit enter so I might as well group it so that I can apply the same effect on it so I've just grouped it I want to apply a shadow to it so that it can bulge out our text for us so look at this so I can pull my shadow you know put it um as I, I can't I can't give you number telling you Put it in number this just do it until it looks very good to you all right very good to you i want to make the color of this red a little bit reddish dark red you know so that it looks good so um the next thing i'm going to do is to put remember i told you you can also combine so i can write pull international right here so write your own company name this is my own company name this is where i belong it's like a family to me and make sure they are all in sentence case don't put them all together open up the text and uh pull international we rock so and still slant it <coughs> Does the same way hold down control you can skew it skew it's called skewing okay this this font and um i can try out this other font because i think i don't like that one mm, you can manage this one but we don't have to slant it because it's already looking slanted so just keep it this way and put it white so this is amazing this is amazing so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add some i don't have brushes now because i don't want it to be left behind 
So whenever I get the brushes, I'm going to let you know how to update and how to put your brushes. So let's increase our burger a little bit more. Let's increase it a little bit more. So um, with our with our wood, select our wood. Right click to select your wood. Take the shadow back a little. Then the next, let's use a rectangle to achieve what they have here. So we'll put down a rectangle and we'll just make the rectangle the same color as this. So instead of going back to change the color and do all this, just click on the ellipse and right click, copy, go to this and paste it. Paste. You see, copy layer style and paste. You have the same thing automatically. So let's just slant this a little bit or let's type a text on it and slant it. We're gonna use the font, the bbas font. Now <coughs> we're gonna use the bbas font and achieve this right now. So I want to type eat our fresh sorry about that by eat eat our fresh graphic burger okay so we just use some fonts and do it. Okay. All right. Here we come to the end of this awesome burger design tutorial. So you can do your simple designs with anything you want, but try out with my burger, my graphic burger. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Let's talk about the rules and the things you have to know more about using fonts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. We appreciate any comments, good or bad.